What's up everyone? It's midway through the month and you know what that means? We're checking in with the big guy to see how his month of no buying is going. The first week wasn't bad. Uh, we just finished the second week and I find it's starting to get, I'm starting to really get that itch. I think yeah. part of it is that we spend every Saturday morning, most Saturdays, yep. going around to our local pawn shops, uh, local game stores, and checking to see what new stuff they have in, what new old stuff they have in. And we haven't been doing that. We have been playing more games. Oh yeah. So it's good for backlog. Absolutely. It's great for backlog. Yep. I also piled on with your no buy. I'm not buying any games. But I'm also Same kind chance. of making it a challenge to myself not to buy anything on Amazon, period. Because that's my biggest vice. If we're okay. talking vices, yours is eBay. Oh, 100%. 100%. I, I had to hide my eBay app on the, myself there on my tablet. I had to put it away in another folder and... Hid it so well that he wanted to look something up <laughs> and could not find where he put his app. I found it. You found it, <laughs> but it was a little bit tricky. It's been going well. Neither one of us had bought anything. Nothing. I have almost been completely silent on eBay. Yeah. I still go on Facebook, but Marketplace is pretty quiet for the most part. Yeah. Um, except for the couple of stores that we follow. Yes. I, I've been taking a screenshot whenever I see something that interests me. There have been a couple that pissed me off that yes. I couldn't get. I think we need to mention <clears throat> what I thought was hilarious. So, we went to Parlor Pond. One of the places we visit most often. All it's closest to yep. our house. We really like all the people there. We went in January 31st. We walked out after... And we were after our last visit and we were like, wow, bummer. See it's going to be a long month. The next day, they got a big Nintendo lot, which nearly killed us because we don't see any new well, Nintendo stuff there ever. Well, it, no, it's been, it seems like they get a big, I don't yes. know if they buy an auction or something, but it's Maybe. been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while since they had anything. It's been the same 15 games yes. for the last six months it felt it felt like at least and of course the very next day they put a post on facebook and to add insult to injury tagged, tagged us in the post tagged retro rivals in yeah. the post on that and i was like good I, god it it made us feel special at the same time it I made us feel better. like a little bit of a i nice. was a little better i have been taking snaps you have been taking I have my snaps. tablet right beside me so jen doesn't even know what i've been taking screenshots of no so i'm gonna just flip through and we'll talk about it and she'll pop a picture up of what she's looking at so first one i seen was dark stalkers for playstation one and playstation one games are always great to collect but they're expensive they're as old expensive heck, and they're just getting harder and harder to find they are this is one of those ones i was like oh that would have been cool to get but i Really don't know if it would have been able to pull it off anyway because it was wasn't in the same city and the way COVID is right now. Don't we, think don't we, think it would have managed to get it anyway. Yeah. So it wasn't that bad. Next, I got a picture of Spin It. Oh. Spin It happened to get in a lot of N64 games and some titles. Our N64 collection is it's weak. Pitiful. It's weak. I'll name a couple of them that are in there. Like they have Paper Mario, um, they have Perfect Dark that I kind of want to try. I don't know if it's any good on N64 yeah, or not. Yeah, I've heard about it. They have Mario Tennis that I was interested in, and they have a Pokemon Stadium Gold cartridge. But I'm not really a big Pokemon fan. Yeah, I think Alex but, would have appreciated that. Yeah. but would he have played it? Uh, the Mario Tennis, I think I would have. I might have jumped on it for the right price, along with the Perfect Dark. So, I don't think they're overly hard to find if I really had to get. They're probably not overly hard to find. We just don't see them in town a lot. And that's the problem. All right, you got a next one? Uh, I got probably half a dozen pictures. Okay. Somebody had a Sega Saturn oh! console. You know how long I've been waiting to see a Sega Saturn console for sale? How much? I, did, I, didn't, I didn't even take that in the picture. It's not there. I just took a snap of 
the console itself and if somebody's watching this in the local area they might have already seen this because it was on marketplace so. then parlor again oh got uh super mario rpg that would have been cool to have would have been cool to have would have been cool to have this one burnt my ass because i've been looking for a copy for a while it's the uh, legend of zelda twilight princess on the wii u i very much doubt it's still there oh that's gone yeah that's gone i'll be interested to see if anything you took snaps of are still there I... once we can go back out into the wild march first maybe something like that mario tennis or something like that maybe maybe i'll put money on it right now that that wii u game the twilight princess I, that's not there now that's all the game's gone i that's a hard one to find yeah i'd be very yeah. shocked if it was. it's not there anymore i'll, mm. I'll bet my left nut <laughs> <laughs> there was a blu-ray and i was like ah oh, shit i really want it and i know it's a no buy games but it was but a if i had a walk if i had a walked into the parlor to buy the blu-ray somebody would have called me out on it <laughs> i'm yes! sure of it the Blu-ray was The Exorcist, the original Exorcist movie on Blu-ray, and I love that movie. Yeah. I'd love to have a copy It's on a bit of a gray zone. We didn't know. We're like, well, yeah. I just, we don't. I, and for me to walk in there, I'd be so tempted too, because if that Twilight Princess game was still there. You'd be like, fuck it! Go <laughs> yeah. buy over! Yeah. Spend it all! Yeah. <laughs> I would have broken right there, probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Somebody had an ent entire Game Boy set, carrying case. Oh! Every looks like every freaking accessory for it possible. That, whatever it is, what it is. I'm not a huge Game Boy fan. It's just one of those items that would have been cool to add to the collection. It's just like a piece of history at this point. Yeah. I find it's like yeah. if I could get my hands on a power glove from the NES. Would we use it? No, but Hell's to the I might try it once. Yeah. If it was complete and you had everything you could try it, I would try it once, but I hear it's terrible. But it's iconic. It's iconic. And it would be amazing just to have it on the shelf. I agree. So, Parlor again. It's got Switch games. And that's the game right there. Wild Guns. Oh, Wild Guns. On the Switch. That would have been cool. Yeah, because we just played the one on the Super Nintendo there. Yeah. Just last week. I don't think it's an overly expensive game, and I've seen it a couple times. Probably not. Just haven't jumped on we it. Just haven't jumped on it. The Twilight Princess on the Wii U is the one that burnt my ass a little bit more. And those I Nintendo games, that was hard to swallow. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it hasn't been too bad, but I've been getting that itch to get on eBay. And the reason why is we just started playing in Resident Evil number one yeah. on the original PlayStation, and that's hard as old hell. It is. And it made me think of getting a strategy, strategy guide guides, yeah and i was like how cool would it be to have a strategy guide for every resident evil game because that's like one of our t top franchises that we like to play and that's so. just my meat and potatoes i love my survival horror yeah so to get a complete collection of all the strategy guides for yep. the main resident evil series would have been awesome not so, saying we can't get so, it after february though. yeah so if anybody here watching has resident evil strategy <laughs> guys that are you know maybe looking to sell them off here in march <laughs> in march <laughs> let, let us know <laughs> in the comments or comment say oh, i was really hoping to sell it by february 20 whatever oh jeez. <laughs> and just yeah oh there'll be somebody there'll be bit. somebody to say yeah you can be yours but it has to has be sold to be? this you week you just try to make us first break first our no buy <laughs> no don't That's, do that no he'll no. break he'll break don't do, that. do you know what felt rotten not to be able to buy him a game for Valentine's Day. I right, that's what else do you buy a husband that games for Valentine's Day? Here's your roses. No. Here's your chocolate. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a disaster for me because he's lactose sensitive. So I'm not gonna do that. So what about <laughs> games? That's my only option. I can't even do it. I want to acknowledge. Uh, there's been. Oh, yeah. Way more people than I even thought that he would even care about this whole video. I was shocked how many views There's, the video got. Yeah, and then um, I was shocked at how many people are participating. Yeah. Yeah, like I was shocked when they just oh, they call it backlog February or no, no fun, fun February, February and all this stuff. And I was yeah. like, it's cool. And I think a lot of people are in the same boat as me. I, I kind of knew it was going to be tough, but now that I'm, in t I'm into it like two weeks in, now I'm now I'm getting that itch. Uh, now I'm finding it tough. Like it's tough now. We come down to the game room and we're like, there's nothing to play. Oh, there's I lots got lots to, to play. play, but it's yeah. that like 
I guess it's that luster of a brand yeah. new game. Like if you bring it like, home, you're like, this is my new favorite. All the rest of you are scum, but this is my new favorite because <laughs> it's just the game you just got, right? Yeah. No. Although I did get a game in the mail. And for all of you that said that that's cheating, it's not because I bought it. Pre ordered it. Like I pre ordered it. Summertime, wasn't it? Late summer, early yeah. fall. And I don't think that's cheating because. Whenever it came out for pre order, that's when. This wasn't even a concept yet. No. So it's not. It was paid for cheating. months ago. Months ago. Yeah. I have been watching lots of YouTube videos and I've been writing down on paper because I usually go and into my eBay app and then I do a search for the game that I seen in the video yeah and I'll put it in my search listings there so I get notifications when new listings come up for that just proof we're watching your videos. so <laughs> <laughs> no I, I, I don't have a huge amount of games but like I can't remember who did the motorsport, motorsport 3 on the PS3 yeah I can't remember who it was if you're watching let me know. Uh, I know a Gaming Off The Grid did a Wii U special and I wrote down three of the games that they had in that. Then I think it might have been, well I know that one was Captain Algebra. Darius, Darius Twin, because we were watching a live stream. Super NES. Yeah. Um, the Blue Marlin. Blue Marlin, I think that might have been like Friday Night Arcade or something like that. It's oh, a okay. real weird fishing game on the NES. Yeah. Yeah. And then you wrote down uh, Dead, Dead Storm, Storm Pirates. Pirates. It's a light gun game, for I do believe, for the PS3. Yep. Because I was doing a little bit more research on Pirate Splendor because it was one of our games that we played for our Valentine's Day special. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ooh, that's cool. Let's write that down. And I don't typically do that. I don't typically write no. down games that... You know. But... Now you are. Yeah, I am. <laughs> You're fully... Can't fully even up. begin to... Can't Ask Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ass Yannex? I have no idea. It's any. You'll we'll pop a picture up of the game. I, I didn't. I don't even know where I see. I did see it on YouTube, and I don't know what video it was. Well, uh, it wasn't one of my typical yeah uh, channels I watch. But hey, I seen it. I was like, that like, looks Ooh. like a cool NES game, and I want to try it. And yeah. then I seen today for uh, original Xbox, somebody had their top ten. Hidden Gems, oh, okay. and uh, Red Ninja was on that, and I was like, ah, I don't have that nice. on my list, and that looks like something I'd like to play. Awesome. So I don't forget. There was also a couple games from our Gold or Sold video that we did that you guys put in the comments, comments that you really liked, and that was a great response too. So there's a few things on here that were like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah. We, wanna, we wanted it to put it in our next video, but we always film it a couple weeks before so we can get it out at the first of the month. Yeah. And I would have been, um, Tempted to buy Steel Battalion at the parlor, the whole damn thing, for Scott for his birthday, and I wish I would have had some forethought. But don't worry, his birthday's March 8th. You'll have a whole week before. I know! His birthday's March 8th, and I ordered everything in February and got everything in already, and he's not going to have a sad birthday just because there was a no buy in February. So. I, I think you'll you'll have a good birthday. It was it was fun going to the mailbox and watching her freak out. Did Don't you touch it? it! Don't touch it! Well, I'd be so afraid they'd list it on the front. Well, I'd be like, grabbing it there and I'm like, this feels like a Xbox game maybe. Or is this a Nintendo He's game? He's like, this is not a Nintendo game or this is not a Nintendo <laughs> game. That's what I would say instead of an Xbox. He said that and I'm like, Don't even like, freaking well touch it. Oh, I know it. that's not NES. <laughs> no. No. We appreciate everybody for... Uh, we really, really do. I don't know what would be the word. Uh, Appreciate... Misery loves company. So yes. Thanks for keeping us company. Thanks for keeping us company and uh... staying miserable with us. <sighs> two weeks, guys. We got two weeks left. Two more weeks. And Stay strong. Yeah. Just stay put, thirsty, my put friends. Put your wallet away. <laughs> Step away from your computer. Just play your games. Just that's all you got right now. All right. Until next time. Game on. Game on. <laughs>